Hey, Libra, today's love reading dives into a journey of self-discovery, nurturing your inner desires and moving forward with confidence. If you're feeling the need to refocus in love, or maybe you're unsure of your next step, then this reading is going to provide some clarity. Let's get into it, girl. Okay, what's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, better known as Aubrey, when I'm doing these more personal, intimate, uh, one-on-one, well, not one-on-one, but <laughs> personal, intimate, um, general collective tie readings, okay? This is going to be a general love collective reading for my Libras out there, my Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, okay? Keep in mind that this is general, okay? It is a collective reading. So if you would like something a little bit more personal, one-on-one, -on -one, um, figure out what's going on with you, your no contact, your soulmate, twin flame, whatever you want to call it, baby, go to my website, thealigningsouls.com, which is available on screen as well as in the description box below to go ahead and book you that personal reading, all right? Now, let's go ahead and get into this general reading. Now, overall theme that we have Libra is the Empress, okay, which is a great, 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 great place to be, okay, because the Empress as the overall theme, it sets a powerful nurturing energy around your love life. This speaks to growth, it speaks to self-love and a need to connect with your inner desires. In love, the Empress embodies abundance, sensuality, and a desire for a deeply fulfilling connection. You're being called to step into a space where you truly honor what it is that you need emotionally. So this is about self-care, self-expression, and embracing your worth that is going to be essential in finding or deepening a relationship. It's a beautiful invitation to nurture yourself and allow love to grow organically. Now, the current situation that we're in is the Eight of Cups. Now, maybe you've left something behind, okay? You could have recently left a relationship, recently left somebody who didn't deserve you, didn't love you right, didn't treat you right, didn't see, you know, the good in you, all of that. But basically, this is you leaving behind what no longer serves you in love. So this could mean maybe you moved away from old habits, old patterns, or again, a past relationship that has drained you emotionally. But it's a card of emotional courage, recognizing when it's time to release and look towards something more fulfilling. You might be at a crossroads. You might be feeling like you've got to walk away from something that isn't aligned with your deeper needs, but trust that this is a process, right? It's all a part of aligning with a love that truly, truly resonates with your heart. <coughs> Child. Now, the challenge that we have here is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, right? As your challenge, suggests a struggle with emotional vulnerability or nurturing your own emotional needs. This is all about compassion, intuition, and being in touch with your feelings. So you might be finding it hard to stay emotionally open, especially if past experiences have made you guarded. It could also indicate some sort of difficulty in balancing caring for other people while trying your hardest to care for yourself. So Libra, the challenge here is to allow yourself to fully feel without losing sight of your own needs, right? Embracing emotional boundaries can be empowering, but giving you the space to protect your heart while staying open to love. So you want to take your focus and put it on the five of pentacles, right? You might be grappling with feelings of lack of loneliness or fear of rejection. And so this could highlight emotional or physical isolation that might be going on. Like you might be to yourself right now, or maybe just a little guarded, as you know, a, a, as you should be, perhaps maybe due to past wounds or insecurities around love. And this urges you to confront these fears and recognize that you're not alone. There is support and love around you, even if it doesn't always feel that way. So focus on moving out of this scarcity mindset and love that you have. Let go of that fear of being left out or overlooked or like everybody else is going to have love except for you. Like let that shit go. This process is what's going to help you build the confidence to go out there and create connections that are truly supportive and truly abundant for you. And so the advice that we have is the chariot, which is all about moving the fuck on, okay? This is encouraging you to move forward with determination, with confidence. This is willpower, direction, taking control of your path and your destiny. So in the context of love, this is reminding you, stay focused on your goals and trust your inner drive. Whatever emotional struggles that you have right now or whatever fears that it is that you're facing, this is encouraging you to keep 
going, embrace your strength, harness your focus and keep moving towards the love that you desire. Because by staying determined and not letting setbacks derail you, you're paving the way for a more aligned and fulfilling connection. But as always, we do have a hidden message. And that hidden message today is the Seven of Cups, which brings an element of choice and fantasy into the reading. So it could be some illusions here, okay? Multiple possibilities in love, or you just could be caught up in those daydreams or indecision, okay? This is reminding you to stay grounded and not get lost in fantasies or illusions or wishful thinking. And, you know, like you don't, you don't ever want to be so guarded or so hurt by your past or your situations that you start seeing what it is that you want to see, right? You might see a fuck person and think that, oh, this is Mr. Right. This is the next husband. And it's really not. It's just, you haven't really quite dealt with that trauma. And so you're seeing what it is that you want to see. So this is encouraging you to make clear choices that actually align with your heart and stay mindful of what is genuinely achievable, right? Because it's important to focus on what is real, but also at the same time, true to you. So just to bring it all together, Libra, this is all about a, a journey of self-discovery, right? It's a journey of self-love, a journey of emotional resilience in your love life. And this is about you nurturing yourself, leaving what no longer serves you, leaving that behind. But at the same time, you know, you want to challenge yourself to find that emotional balance and focus on releasing any feelings of lack or rejection. You want to stay determined and you also want to move forward with confidence, but at the same time, staying grounded amidst any possibilities that might come up. But trust this path, Libra, like you're aligning with a love that honors and that's going to fulfill you most deeply. All right. So that's the end of this reading, Libra. Definitely make sure that you go to my website, thealignedsouls.com to book you a personal reading. Okay. Um, that is the only way to really assure what the hell is going on with you and your personal love life. Okay. Thealignedsouls.com. You can find that on screen and in the description box below. Get on your shit before shit gets on you. I'm just here to align you to your highest soul. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.